Okay, if this world is based on belief, what is belief based on? So now, I want to break down belief so we'll understand what I'm talking about. Because you believe and I believe. It says a state or habit of mind in which trust or confidence is placed in some person or thing. So if you be faith, uh, base your belief on religion, that's a thing. And I base my belief on me. See, I'm a person. Now, you say, but I'm saying, well, how can religion be a person? You see what I'm saying? It's it's a it's a well let, let's look at what religion. See, because see, I'm learning about your Lord and Savior after I prove that I'm my Lord and Savior. And that's what I think the disconnect is. See, it's a personal set or or institutionalized system of religious at, at, uh, attitudes, beliefs, and practices. See, so you practice your understanding, your mental grasp of life itself, right? So, but me, I have always lived my life in accordance with what I wanted to do in life, right? So I wanted the Corvette. I set my life up to get the Corvette, right? But I got married first, so I had to 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 set my life up where my selfish goals as as a man would not make my family suffer as a husband and a father. So that's why what I'm doing now is giving you the formula that I created. You see what I'm saying? Now people say I think I know everything. But I'm saying I'm talking about myself. So if I don't know everything about me, what do what would I know everything about? See, I I don't know everything, but I have the ability to learn anything. You see what I'm saying? So when I'm around something that I don't know, I learn because I know I don't know. And if I'm in a situation that has taught me something, then why wouldn't I learn what it taught me? You see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm saying to you all now, I'm saying, well, listen, I'm reading your mind as I read your scriptures, because this is what you're supposed to base your personal principles on, right? So I'm saying, well, you and I are no different. The only difference is you read scripture and I write it, right? My, my motion is something that I wrote. See, so if Saul changed his name to Paul and he wrote, the scriptures that you go by, see, you have to believe him about somebody else and he telling you he never met Jesus. He met him in a cloud. So you got to believe all of that, right? But what I'm telling you, you can go and investigate for yourself and then you going to become wiser on how and why and what to do if. See what I'm saying? See, it's, it's all inclusive. You see what I'm saying? Both sides are present. So how would you know that the truth, now let's look up that, truth, which I already know, uh, it's, it's the body of real things, events, and facts, right? How do you know that the truth is the truth if the lie isn't present. Now, let's go lie. Now you got to get down to that. Okay. A untrue or inaccurate statement that may or may not be believed true by the speaker or writer. 
See what I'm saying? So that wouldn't that be the scripture? See, wouldn't that be Saul? See, you don't know, but you are quoting what Saul said, even though the Bible say he changed his name to Paul. Now, why would you have to change your identity if you're telling the truth? Only criminals have aliases. See, like Dr. Martin Luther King, that's his name. Mr. Fred Hampton, that's his name. Mr. Uh, Huey P. Newton, that's his name. Mr. Mega Evers, that Me Mega Wiley Evers, that's his name. See, these are heroes that paid the ultimate price, and they are part of the historical uh, picture of the pain that someone else's family felt. See, that's why I couldn't act like my pain was my pain, because I knew about those who came before me. And this is what I'm saying, like, how can tomorrow benefit from yesterday if today don't do a better than they were did yesterday? See, the only way that tomorrow is going to benefit is somebody keeps the righteous course. See, we like, OK, just think about this. Uh, Moses formed the Exodus, right? And that exodus led into war because in the Middle East, that's where the Israelites at. So look, they left out of Egypt and entered in the war. So when were they ever delivered from chaos? You got to think to see. See what I'm saying? Because a lie is a statement. See, look, an, an untrue or inaccurate statement. See, that's a lie. It's a statement. Now, let's. This, that's one. An assertion of something known or believed by the speaker or writer to be untrue with intent to deceive. See, see what I'm saying. So, in that instance, the speaker know they lying. See, see what I'm saying. So that would be Saul himself, the one that keeps saying that Jesus told him to change his name to Paul. See what I'm saying? All of these things you got to believe. But if Jesus' name was Jesus, why did Saul change his name? But look at what he was before. He was a persecutor of Christians. Now he's a leader of Christians. How did that happen? How did the persecutor become the leader of the persecuted? And now look how y'all persecuting me. See what I'm saying? So if your leader lying to you, then wouldn't you be the weapon that your leader used to hide behind? See, the force come from the people. The truth come from a body. See, let's go back. I'm going to show you. The body, see? The state, see? That, see, it's saying the state of being the case. See, a transcendent, fundamental, or spiritual reality. See, transcendent. See, that's change, right? This is the truth. See, so the truth, see, the body of true statements, the body of. See, in the lie, it don't say nothing about a body. It just say untrue statements that may be known to be true or untrue by the speaker. See, so the speaker becomes the vessel of a lie. Look at the definition. You have to break it down to understand it. You can't see a lie, but you can live a lie. And you can live a lie that you don't tell. Ask somebody who's been lied to, right? I didn't do that, babe. I say skip it. Either way, woman lying, man lying, child lying. Either way, it's a lie in the midst. Now, where is growth, right? Say if the child line get away with it, now the child believe that line is the way to go. Now, the parent might see the child line and be like, oh, they'll know better. But how do they know better if you don't teach them better? See, so in the midst of that, right, the line has to be destroy it. Now you don't destroy the liar because that liar you love. 
but you have to destroy the lie so the liar will become afraid of lying. See, so that's why the truth is a double-edged sword. It, it, it corrects as it reveals. And that's why it's so beautifully dangerous. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because you have to expose and then inspire all at the same time, right? You got to put out a fire and then start a fire all at the same time because the lie has sapped the energy away from the body. Think about it. So if you lie to a person, that person is living in a state of disbelief that they believe because they don't know you lied to them. So see, you put them in a state of mind that's not real. You see what I'm saying? See, that's why, like, I never lied to my lady, period, at all. First time I met her to now. So that way, when she go back, she'll see that everything I said came to pass. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I was telling the devil or the serpent or whomever you see spiritually or read about spiritually that he wasn't going to beat me because of the work I had already put in before I saw him. See, I had defeated my internal devil when I was 18 and had a conversation with my internal devil like I'm having a conversation with your internal devil. And I'm trying to get you to see what you need to do to defeat yourself. Because anger is internal. See, you think it's external, but it's not. Because the fool that's, that's angry is the one that lost consciousness. Now, if you let an unconscious fool make you lose consciousness, then were you ever conscious? And that's when I realized when I was 18 and I had lost consciousness that I realized that I wasn't being myself. I was being like my father. And then I heard my mother so clearly. See what I'm saying? Like, if it ain't you, Tommy, it ain't everybody, right? Like, Tommy, you have to walk your path to get the way you going. And like, man, you know, and it's like, you get all of this clarity. Now, how can your enemy then win when your mama then already won? That's why you listening to her and not him. See what I'm saying? Like, but that's why I tell people, I wrote in my book, when I became enlightened to my mother's words because I guess like when y'all pray, I listen. You see what I'm saying? Like when I'm looking for something, I can hear what I heard. See, but if you looking for something that you read about, how can you recall it if nothing, if you only read about it, you never seen it. See, my mother was talking to me, illustrating my father. We were watching the movie together. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, just like you watch me or my children watch me, well, my mother watched, we watched my daddy and she would narrate the scene just like I'm doing. See, life ain't nothing but a movie. You understand what I'm saying? If you got somebody willing and, uh, to sit you down and, and explain to you the characters in the movie, right? Now, let's look up character. See, and, and this is what I'm saying. It's, it's, this is all relative to who we want to become, not who we are. And that's the beautiful thing about this, right? Is that it's not about what we used to be, it's about what we gonna become. Character, one of the attributes or features that make up and distinguish an individual. So 
If I was denied of myself, why would I deny myself of myself? See, it's 15 minutes, so I'm going to stop it.